what better way to do a Todd's Tips is to get hands on, right on the connector before we've worked on it. This is a power supply from Tag Team Wrestling. And we're going to show you what a cold solder connection actually is. Now, see these plugs that are plugged in? Slide-on connectors are one thing, but when they're plugged into surface mount pins like this, okay, when the machine gets delivered to one location to another, it's in the back of a pickup truck, it's wacky. These are rocking back and forth like this. And it in fact develops what we call a cold solder joint. So cold solder connection on these are actually called header pins. Now if you look in here, everything is a slide-on terminal except those. So look, I'm gonna Frank, if you can from there zoom in right here. I want you to see can is it nice and clear? Watch, watch what behind the panel. Let me, let me turn the light on here. Just a little bit. There we go. Now, watch. Can you see the pins? The pin heads in the back actually rocking. Isn't that something? Essentially making a very bad connection. At some point, these connectors will cause the game to shut off, shut down for any possible reason. So I'm going to take this board out now and then show you what it looks like on the other side. They are ice cold. Around each of the pins, the header pins, you can actually see a break in the solder connection. Hmm. Tell you what, Frank, let's take this over since we have to do it anyway. And we'll do service right here at the bench. Now, does that do a better job, Frank? Can you see those pins rocking away? And most important, can you see the space around the pins? Look at that. It's on both sides. Okay, now, easy to fix. Get lead-free solder. Lead-free is important for your health. You don't have to do it. Now, oddly enough, all the connectors at the top here are all the same connection. So we just have to load some solder onto all these pins, like so. Look at that. Nice. Frank, how come you don't have that giant soldering pencil with the, the dull tip? <laughs> okay, and we'll do this side. Now these, of course, we have to be um, a little more um, careful because there's two separate connections. These first three are connected together. Nice, fresh solder. It's taking quite a bit, isn't it? And then here. Now, I'm going to show you one other thing you should do with any time you encounter screws on a circuit board from an old game, especially the Gottlieb. Gottlieb loved using these screws. Nothing wrong with them, but every single one of them is, in fact, um, loose. There they are, nut driver. Just make sure they're tight. They both needed a little squinch. And the final thing on this power supply that you need to do is you have to squirt the 5 volt adjustment pot. And then you spin it around and around and around and around and around like that. Now I'm going to guess, sort of guess where it is where before we turn the power on or connect the game. It was about where it, right there. That's about the point it was. Now, the last thing we do is take one of our stickers and we take, where's the pen, Frank? How come we didn't set this up? This is supposed to be pre-set up. Pre-set up. And what we do is we're going to mark it re-soldered. Okay, and we're going to put 5 volts because, in fact, we're going to check the 5 volts next. And then we put our stickers here on all of our games, and then that way we know when it was done, when the service was performed. Aren't I great? They don't like the camera being shaken, Frank. Please Whoa. stop shaking the camera.
Now, the next thing we do is test the 5 volts. Okay, now, we plug our power in. That's the bottom, and that powers the game right up to here, right up to that connector. Okay? And then, you want to get your 5 volts. The 5 volts is available at any, any of those points. Let's pick up a ground from over here. Look at our meter. We're at 5.04, so we're fine. So, consequently, we'll turn the game off. Plug this back in. Now, this will put a load on the board, but we know we don't have it too high or too low. We turn it back on. Now, we want to check our 5 volts on the board itself. So we can pretty much pick any of these chips. So do the top corner. Now look, we're 4.93. So we need to bring the voltage up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, good. See, we're 5.03, which is fine. See how easy? Right. What do you think? Anything else? Nope. Well, obviously, if you're doing a Gottlieb, always put your second jumper in down here. So this is our red wire here. That's our second jumper. So that'll ensure a good ground between the logic and the driver board. And soundboard, new caps. Well, that's all you have to reflow in this game. Now, all their pop bumper boards have the same header pins, by the way. So in Gottlieb game, you have to do the pop bumper boards, and then of course you have to do the ground mod on the bottom. That's in another video. You'll have to find it. I'm glad I had your meter, Frank. Nothing. Frank, aren't you going to say anything funny? No. Huh. Well, then that's it. Are you still here?